out there have seen this. Where you go to sharpen your chainsaw chain, and you'll have this curve right here. This big curve we all have. I don't care if you have a semi-chisel, full chisel. You've seen this. And this is more of what I personally concentrate on and I encourage everyone out there to concentrate on as well. If you get this correct, your chainsaw will cut as it should. See this witness mark here for your file angles. This witness mark, this is supposed to be the exact same here, this angle is here, you know, this curves. So I encourage people to train their mind more to get this perfectly straight with this witness mark or, you know, close to it, but, you know, parallel as possible with that, with that mark. The results will be much better. If you see in this drawing I made here, and here's your chisel edge, working corners in there, I just don't have a 3D of it, but you'll start sawing the wood and you, it'll become dull. And the first thing that goes is this, is a working corner in the chisel edge right here. And this'll, this'll be kind of what it starts looking like, see? It'll start curving downward like this. I don't think people talk about this enough. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Um, you know, you can have everything sharp and crisp underneath here, but if that top, if that top plate doesn't meet right here perfectly at that perfect angle to be real crisp, then you're really not getting it sharp. That's the beginning of the end before you need to start sharpening again. So I encourage people to start concentrating more on that instead of the gullet and the rakers, you know, in the angles, you know, concentrate on this, start with that. I think people, what they do is they tend to, you know, think about this is what I learned or this is what I want to try and I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a ton of gullet out now. I should really dig in there. Good. Blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, that, that's all good and fine, but that doesn't necessarily make your chain really sharp. And uh, you, we all agree that a sharp chain is, is a good chain. It starts getting dull and it, I don't care what kind of saw you have. It's not gonna cut with the crap. Remember guys, if you have the correct file and close to the correct angles, you shouldn't have to worry much about getting the gullet correct. The, the file is made as you file here at the right angles, it, it's made to also get that gullet where it needs to be. I don't think this has been said enough. Sometimes no, and sometimes you're working with the used chain, you know, there's several di different scenarios, but you get a new chain, you get it about like you, you want it, you, should be able, you shouldn't have to touch it up much. But when you get When you get that straight right here, even with this, parallel with this rather, your gullet should naturally form right there, okay? It should naturally form enough to cut well. After that, customize it as you will. So how do we get there? We get there by having this angle true on each stroke. That's why machines are really well. You know, they grind at what you set them. You, you'll see bucking and a lot of people out there filing a lot and a lot of people ask questions. Why do you file so much? You know, it was already sharp three strokes ago or 
whatever, and he'll go 10 more. Well, I, in my opinion, I think it's because he's not getting that burr on there yet. Because when you start seeing that burr all the way across here, that's when you're going to start getting straight, or parallel rather. I would love to see him talk more about that, uh, Buck and Billy Ray. If you don't know who that is, I'll put a link down in the description. But anyway, when you start filing here, you'll start, you know, until you start seeing that burr all the way across, you kind of can't stop. You, you need to get this line straight. A lot of people just sharpen it. And I think that your, your, the mindset should be a little bit different. You don't, don't try not to think about sharpening this. Try to think about getting this straight and the sharpness will come naturally, just like the gullet will come naturally. Another thing people will do is use the wrong file. This happens all the time. I've done it a million times. Okay, and this is what happens. So, you know, naturally you want to file the tooth. And if you have a slightly smaller file, this gullet will start not only working itself back like this, it'll also start working itself down like this. You'll see this so many times. I'll go on like some of the forums, the chainsaw forums, and you'll see that this file has worked its way not only back, but down. So people will be like, oh, well, I'll just take my file and file this up here too. Well, that's okay, honestly, if you can, if you can accomplish that, you probably need a, a tool uh, the two-in-one files, if you're a beginner, I strongly encourage those. It'll teach you how to file as well. And it'll, you don't have to really worry about the rakers in an additional step. It'll, it'll get this raker or whatever you want to call this. I call it a raker. Uh, it will give you that uh, raker height consistent with, to all the other uh, teeth or rakers rather so if you're a beginner two-in-one steel it's, it's a nice little tool to begin with until you can hone your skills with hand filing one more thing on file size if you notice if you have the correct file you'll notice that it'll touch the bottom by the gullet here and it'll also come above the tooth so as you file, you can see what happens here. This gullet should naturally form right here. It should naturally form. So all the people that are taking these smaller files and trying to grind out this gullet, you know, I, however you get there, you know, that, that's, your, that's up to you. But a file, and again, this is just round filing, but this file should naturally form that gullet and do everything all in one step other than your rakers. So a recap on this view, keep filing to this witness mark until this rounded chisel edge becomes completely parallel with this witness mark.